I'm going to try to do this as cool as possible. We're working on, uh, I'm working on a project called, this is about the color wheel. How you make color wheels? I mean, what is a color wheel, actually? So, I'm going to do what I normally do. And I'm a Renaissance artist. My name is Roosevelt Davis. I'm a Renaissance artist of two different companies. I own, I wrote three books, successful, and I own a company. And then I own, been doing art for over 20 years. That's one of my pieces. Not completely finished yet, but it's almost finished. So, what I'm going to do is what I've been writing, what I've been doing, working on my next coin project. So, let me see what I got here. I don't know if I put it up or put it somewhere. I was doing this little sketch here. And I'm a, one of those artists who don't like to waste paint whatsoever. I don't like wasting paint. So, here's what I'm going to have. I'm going to sit down right here. I'm going to put you right here so you can come on a ride as we do this um, color palette. So, you can see how mixing colors and mixing colors and doing art so you won't waste it. Normally, I have a plate. I'm going to take this this canvas piece down with the flowers. Uh, it's going to be on, it'll probably be launched on the website a little bit later. But right now, and I, I wanted to drop some music or something like that, but here's what, I just really don't do that right now. I, I haven't learned how to do it very well, but probably I'll do it a little bit later. So, and this uh, thing, what we're going to do start with a large canvas and it's a risk for many artists and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with some white okay let me show you what I'm working with okay my office before I move forward see that's me why I'm gonna do this I'm gonna start with white I'm gonna white it out I'm gonna white so I'm gonna drop some white in the middle because white starts everything out, actually, it does. Because I haven't realized what I wanted to do. And this is uh, Liquitex basic acrylic. I love acrylics, man. I love acrylics. I like oils too, but I love acrylics more. Then I'm going to start out with blue. Put that on the side. I don't really want to use a lot of blue unless I'm doing some background. And uh, I'm going to use a red. I thought I had some green and yellow. I do. Oh, okay. Here goes some red. Oh, shucks. I'm about to put this on my pencil. I know you've been seeing my um, advertising. And with the art, you know, and, and business, I'm going to use yellow. I'm using this Artist Loft. Now, this is pretty good. I'm going to use Artist Loft. Then I'm going to use uh, Artist Loft again. My Artist Loft got another white. Is that black? I'm going to go black. Okay, Artist Loft black. I'm going to use black. And normally I don't use black. I use black to trace out the, um, the artwork. And since this is going to be like a Koi series, right, I want y'all to see this. And I could masterly do a lot of stuff of color, then I'm gonna trace it in with what I wanna do, what I want to see happen. And uh, just for the individual who loves fish, and I kinda, I really, I really do enjoy fish. So, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use a, a towel, a rag. I use all my old shirts and do this. Now, what I'm going to do, I want pink. I'm going to use white. And I'm going to make pink. Now, how I want this fish to look is going to be up to me. Right? I'm going to make this fish out. Okay, that's it. I'm going to elongate it. I'm going to make some wings. Wings out here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend it all the way through right here. See, see where I'm at? I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna add some more white, and then do the same thing. 
Right? This is going to be a longer wing. Now, you probably say, man, why are you almost close to the edge on there? But what I want to do is to identify what I'm doing with the color palette. So, since I don't want to make this video so much longer, because once the art is complete, then you get to see the true results. I'm going to add some white, more white to it. Sit down. Mm-hmm. Now, my fish is coming alive. You can see that fish, right? You can see that. I'm going to bring it all the way out. Because this is going to be the first layer. I do not really use um, how some artists do. They use um, a base, the cover, white base, the cover or something kind of medium to uh, the bot, the canvas image out. I, do, I really don't do that very often. And what I'm doing is going to be like a, a really large piece. I'm going to clean this brush because I like this brush. I'm going to use this brush. right? And I got several brushes, but I'm going to use this brush a little bit more. You're going to see me use this brush. So what I'm going to do on my color palette, I'm going to use all this paint now. I'm going to use all this paint to build this coil out. Then I'm going to use yellow. Then I'm going to use green. Then I'm going to go hard. Because yellow and green turn into this color. This is like an aqua color. And I'm always going to be spreading it out now. I want my fish to be huge. Right? I'm going to use everything I got to make this fish tight. And then I'm going to use wings. This koi fish will have wings. Now I'm going to use some white. Because this got to be quickly done. You might not see it right now. And you won't see it right now. But... But this is the image outlay, you know, of the fish. I see it, I see it in my head. And then I want to use, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, white again. Then I'm going to use blue. Uh, do I want to use blue? I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use more white. Carry over here as the water. I don't see what. I'm sorry. See where that worn at? I'm going to bring it over on some. Because this is going to be one of those videos just in case it gets cut off. And somebody called me on my iPhone. You already know where I'm going at with this. And this is not going to be a complete finish. But it's the, the usage of your paint before you start using other brushes to get the, the job done. You know, because you can use a lot of brushes, but you still ain't leveraging what, what you want to get done with your art. And as a business owner, you got to complete what you started. Now, here's yellow running. So since yellow is running, I want green. I'm going to take yellow, I'm gonna put a glob of green. And green is going to be somewhere down below. I'm going to put green down below. And I don't want green to be a maximum color, but so I'm gonna add more white. You see when I put the white in the middle, and I change that white from dark green to this green, that's a different kind of color. I'm gonna announce all the colors down below because here's what you must do if you're gonna be a Renaissance artist. You got to just start painting. You know, it don't look much or nothing, right? But once you see it, once I completed this piece, it's going to be so awesome. It's, it's, it's going to be one of the awesome pieces, man. And, and that's how you create money for yourself in business the same way. You, you got to realize your art is a business. You, know? you can't keep on painting what, what people don't buy. And you can't keep on painting... If you can't make a living out of your art, see, and and I work, I make this, I do, I do this part time. I'm a part time artist. And yeah, some of you might have a conversation. Yeah, I know I'm a part time artist. But once I finish this, man, once I finish this, uh uh you're gonna be like, oh wow, I want that. I want that piece. 
because as we go along here, we're gonna we're gonna change this. We change this up, and it will change. Cause I'm gonna have some I'm gonna have some fish up here. And my koi's, and I didn't even use red yet. Not completely. So we we'll use red. What time? Much time on that? Man, this is already ten minutes. Good grief. Y'all gonna sit here and watch this? Oh, man, if y'all gonna watch, I'm gonna keep on playing. Because I am going to make this corn look so tight. Now, do I need red right now? I need red in an orange format. Only orange. See how I did that? I hit white again. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make more. I'm gonna make yellow. Orange. I'm gonna make orange. See? See that? It's a reddish blood orange. I'm going to make it blood orange. Now, mind you, it don't, it doesn't, it, you can do whatever you want to do. You know, with your heart. You know, you can make anything up as you go. But it has to look beautiful enough for the, the visual part of it for your clients to buy at the price that you say that you want. And believe me, some are going to try to deny you your price. And that's part of business, man. They're going to try to deny you for your price. And here's why. Because they believe art is on sale. And personally, my art is really never on sale. And that's why I got into business. Because I knew one day that I was going to reconnect to buyers and like you. I knew that. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't know when it was going to happen because I was busy living my life. But I knew that I was going to resurge back to buyers like you. And uh, I know my website is not completely up, y'all. So it's still, I'm still in a work in process on that one. But uh, look. See how I use that? I'm using the colors. Now, you don't see what I'm looking at, right? Not just yet. Because I see a, I see a, um, a koi over here, a koi over here, a koi over here, some small fishes down below, and so forth. But it looks like an abstract foolishness. But it's not, man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. Your art is beautiful. You know, it depends on the, the buyer, of course, and the beholder of the art, but your art is beautiful also. You know, you just got to keep on playing, playing with it. Now, someone, some clients would buy this as is. They don't care. They want something beautiful. They want something from an artist such as me, and they want something totally raw. Raw! And and that's fine too. I, I I like those clients. I love them. And so what? what look, 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 man. I'm putting. I'm not wasting paint. I'm not wasting paint, man. I'm not wasting paint. I see everything I'm doing. I'm white done turn almost to zero tolerance of goo. So I'm gonna make this in something awesome. I need some more white. Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe not. But my my canvases are basically uh, live wonderland because me, I never truly complete a piece. Never really truly complete a piece. I always can see something that could be um, that some mistakes, uh, something that I could do better in a piece. Sometimes I just got to let a piece go. And, and and tell that piece, hey, go out into the world, make somebody else happy. I'm looking for a wife. Make somebody happy. Share it to the world. Because guess what? You basically is over right now. Because if I keep on playing with you, um, it it would not it won't be a master's piece. Now, when I do this. I can see a lot of stuff that you may not see. You go, this man, this wasn't paint. 
On the brush, I'm using a bigger brush. Because I'm going to spread this. This is white. Ooh, excuse me. White jumped. I'm going to spread this white. All right? I'm going to make this a little lighter. Ooh. 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 Here she go. Here he go. Here go, here go that coil. Here that coil. All right. Where you want to go? Where you want to go, coil? Where you want to go? I think you want to go over here. I think you need to go across here. That's what I need you to do. I need you to go across. I need you to go across, and here's why. Because I, I want you to go over that first chord. Because once I complete it, I, I want you to go there. Yeah, I want you to go right there. Uh, yeah, see? Now, you may not see what I'm... I'm telling you don't see what I'm looking at. And some of y'all may. You know, sure. Y'all artists. Y'all looking. Y'all want to learn how to make money as a part-time artist. I'm going to tell most artists, you have to be thinking business, okay? No matter how much you love your craft, you got to treat it as a business. Treat it as a business. And now once you treat it as a business, man, everything, your mindset will change. Uh, Pablo Picasso treated it as a business. Sovereign Dollar treated it as a business. Uh, Rockwell treated it as a business. And then there's some other artists that treat it in the business. Now, the next thing I'm going to do as a video, I'm going to talk about how you should copyright your, your uh, art and why you should copyright your art. Because your art can go on so many different things. Now, this is a core piece. Now, it is, don't look at it as what I'm turning it into. Cause I'm, about to, I'm about to use all my paint up. Because I don't want it to waste no paint. I do not waste paint. Believe me. Because wasting paint is wasting money. And that's the business part of it. Because you can waste paint. Yeah, I know you said paint is cheap. But paint is not really that cheap. It's not that cheap at all. So that's the real deal. I'm going to put this in a dip, deeper base of blue. Oh my goodness, it's going to be crazy. Hey, do me a favor. Can you please subscribe, make a comment, and share this information? Come on. I need some subscribers. I need more subscribers than I ever needed before. I got a lot of watchers, but I need subscribers. Everybody needs somebody to love them. And watch that. Come on. See that? Oh, my goodness. You don't see it. You don't see it. But when I show you, when I finish it, I'm gonna draw out. I'm gonna draw an outline. I'm gonna ooh, ooh, it's gonna be. But I'm gonna use everything I got on this goddamn camera. I'm not wasting paint. Wasting paint is wasting money. Make it, make sure y'all realize it. Wasting paint and wasting money. Get me some red up there. I'm some red because I'm about to buy this and they're gonna go crazy. Yeah, because I'm about to buy this and they're gonna go crazy. Because they're going to have a, a Roosevelt Davis original, the Renaissance artist, baby. They're going to have it. And uh, you can check me out online. I'm a business owner for real. Now, I really promote business intelligence. And that's in everything I do. You know, I didn't sell out. I hardly ever, I started back selling art just recently. But I wasn't selling art at all, man. I wasn't selling nothing. Nothing. I stopped put I put my canvas up for a lot of different reasons. Because I felt like the market wasn't ready. The market wasn't ready at that time. It wasn't ready. So why give up your art? You're not giving up. Why give up your other interests? You know, some of y'all may need a job. You know, before you go, or you may st start it. You need to start something that makes you uh, uh, some money. You know, oh Lord, I'm not wasting no plan. Not wasting no paint, y'all. I ain't wasting no plan. Mm -mm. Wasting paint is wasting some money. So I got my black in the middle because my outline gonna be tight when I finish this. My outline gonna be awesome. And I just cover one of my darn, um, my things up. I covered it up. Because I didn't 
I didn't like that one. But I seen it. I seen it come up. So here. I, I'm not gonna keep you too long for watching this video. But I will say this. Once you see this, once I finish, once you see it, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness. This guy went down. He went. He went. You don't see that towards in him? You don't see that. You don't see that fish. You don't see that fish right there. You don't see that fish right there. You don't see that fish right there. And you the only thing you see is that pink fish. And and the reason why you see that pink fish, because that's what I want you to see. I want you to see that pink fish. Come on. What am I y'all? Okay. That's gonna be crazy when I finish this. Now, how much paint do you think I put on it? How much money do you think I put on I put a guava money on it. But, at the end of the day, once we finish, right? Once I finish, this piece, when I complete it, it's gonna look so nice, so awesome. It's going to sell for thousands of dollars. Yeah, thousands of dollars. If you're interested in getting something like that and starting a business today in your painting, right? Please subscribe, make a comment, share this information. Everyone you know. Welcome to Roosevelt Davis Art, the Renaissance Artist. Sorry about the video being so long. Please.